Hey everybody, Michael Carnahan here with Remax First Choice in Baltimore. I hope you're having a great day. I'm always out on the internet uh, scouting and reading and learning stuff and taking training classes so I can get better at what I do so I'm better for me and better for you. Today I read a great article called Ask Your Agent These Seven Questions. This article was written by Jim Bernardine, who is a realtor with Team Bernardine in Malvern, Pennsylvania. And so I thought I would share these questions with you and give you a little bit of my take on them. The first question is, what are the property taxes? Okay, so you've already identified a property you're really happy with it, you want to get into that house, but um, you need to ask some things. And so that's a great question. What are the property taxes? The reason this is a great question is because property tax is part of PITI which is the mortgage equation, which stands for principal interest taxes and insurance. And that's the taxes we're talking about, property tax. Let's say for instance, the property tax bill on a particular house is $2,400 for the year. That translates into $200 in your monthly mortgage. Great question. Question two, is there an HOA? HOA is a homeowners association, exists in some neighborhoods, but not all. Older neighborhoods have a tendency not to have such things. They may have a voluntary uh, neighborhood association, which is different than a homeowners association. Homeowners association usually carries a fee and also can have um, a lot of restrictions and rules. However, some people might find those rules very helpful. So you have to ask, is this something that's good for me? If an HOA costs you $10 a month, that's great. You don't care. Maybe it costs $300 a month. And here again, you have a, a big expense to worry about in addition to taxes and everything else. On one note, with an HOA, if you find uh, things like a pool helpful, some communities do have those. And so that might be part of your HOA payment. Uh, another note is, let's say your next door neighbor is a huge Ravens fan and they want to paint their house purple and you're not into that. Well, the HOA may restrict that and that might be helpful to you. On the other hand, if you're an Orioles fan and you want to paint your house orange, you might not want to live in an HOA neighborhood because you might not be able to do that. Third question, how's the neighborhood? And that's a great question, but that means something different to everybody. How's the neighborhood? Um, it could be uh, if you are in a situation where you like to walk a lot, maybe you want parks, maybe you want um, other activities like fishing and piers, and maybe you're a boater and you would be near a boat ramp. Maybe you like walking to the grocery store. Is there one close by? Uh, in addition to that, there are other things to consider about neighborhoods such as crime. So you can look that stuff up online on the various crime stats websites. Next question is what's coming down the pipeline? Is this an up and coming neighborhood? Is the value going to increase and that kind of thing? And Sadly, for the most part, we don't have crystal balls, so we can't tell exactly. However, we can do some research and figure out uh, when neighborhoods are um, changing in a way where there's a lot of development. There are new stores and shopping centers coming in. There's uh, new roadways coming in, things that might uh, enhance that neighborhood and make it more appealing to people uh, and therefore increase the an influx in buyers and uh, make the neighborhood more appealing in general and perhaps raise the price a bit on values. Um, what are the utilities like? Great question. So you're paying a mortgage, but you forgot about cable. You forgot about gas and electric. You can ask, hey, how much is the gas and electric here on average? And I can in turn ask the seller, hey, how much is the gas and electric here on average? Uh, we can ask them, you know, is, is Fios available or is it only Comcast? So these are another great questions. Um, Next question is, how long has the house been on the market? That's a great question too. Is there something that we're missing? It's a great house, you fell in love with it, but maybe it has issues and maybe um, that's something that we're missing. So we might be very careful in researching that house and making sure we do a thorough home inspection with a qualified home inspector to make sure we're not missing any issues. Um, the other thing is it might be overpriced. So if it's overpriced, do you want to get into a pricing battle with someone or do you want to just move on to something that's already competitively priced? Finally, the last question, how soon? Are the owners looking to sell? So if they're looking to sell very soon and they're looking to get out of town and you see one of those seller motivated, motivated seller, um, that might be an opportunity to negotiate the price a bit or perhaps to get some closing cost assistance from the seller. So overall, I think it's a great article with some great ideas. Uh, I'll post a link to the article as well. Um, I think my take on it is, in addition to what I've already said, what's important to you? 
what's important to you about this house and or this neighborhood and or the price or the mortgage? What are the important factors to you? And so ask questions and talk through your concerns. These are the big things to consider when you're out looking and buying a house and uh, especially if you've already targeted one and you're really zeroing in on it, uh, you know, can I afford it, what's the neighborhood like, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, give me a call sometime, let's talk about your wants and needs and maybe we can narrow it down and find a great house for you and get all of your questions answered too. Michael Carnahan, Remax First Choice in Baltimore. Office number is 410-391-6900. Cell phone 443-392-2072. Thanks and have a great day.